Today in our 2018 GMC Terrain, we're going to be doing a test fit on the Yakima Ridgeback 2 bike rack, part number Y02457. Now we do have a bike installed, let's take a closer look and show off some of the features. Starting from the outside, we're going to see on the ends of both arms, we do have two bottle openers. The cradles, though they are stationary, have this nice rubber TPE padding, which means that these little notches right there are going to act as shock absorbers for the frame of your bike while you're traveling. We have three different points where our bike is secured. We have two zip ships on the top of our bike frame. Then we have one more zip ship right here securing it into, anti, into the anti-rattle cradle. Once we do that, that's going to prevent the bike from moving too much while we're traveling. It's going to help prevent the bike from moving and hitting the back of your vehicle or another bike that you could have installed. Now let's go ahead and remove the bike. You just got to take off these zip strips real quick. There's two black tabs you just got to push in on each side. Once you do that, you can remove it. When you're done, you do want to make sure that you replace your zip strips. Because if you just leave them right there, you could potentially lose them. Now I'm going to give you guys a few measurements. Well, first we're going to measure from the bumper to the outermost part of our bike rack. That's going to be about 23 inches added onto the back of our vehicle. Now we can cut down on that space simply by folding these arms down. We're going to come up to the blue notch, pull that up, and it tilts down just like that. Now if we measure again, we're only adding on about 10 inches onto the back of our vehicle. So you want to keep this in mind for any close quarter situations you might have. Like a lot of hanging style racks, this can tilt away from your vehicle to give you access to your trunk. You come to this black latch, pull it down. There we go. Sometimes you got to move the bike rack around a little bit. Once you get that to tilt away, we can go ahead, open up the trunk, we can get whatever we need, and we're good. I do want to point out it's not recommended to use this feature while you have a bike installed. To tilt it up, just push it up until you hear that audible latch. Now down here, we're going to see that it's connected to our hitch with an inch and a quarter receiver right now. However, if you wish to use this for a two inch hitch, if you have that on your terrain or if you have any other vehicles you might want to utilize this bike rack with, you can put the adapter on to make it, make it compatible with two inch hitches. Our anti-rattle system starts at this knob right here, this red knob. Once we tighten that down, there's a mechanism on the inside that tightens it up, take, cuts out the slack on the inside, and then we have our safety pin right there. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's show you how it performed on our test course fully loaded. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. And finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. 